has refused to accept on file the complaint against the chief minister and his daughter for taking monthly kickbacks from a co private company in Ernakulam. I am really surprised at the decision of the court because it questions the common understanding about law. Because this is not an allegation. This is a verdict of a tribunal of the income tax department, which comprises of retired judges. When three retired judges of the income tax tribunal gives a verdict, and in that it mentions that the chief minister's daughter is getting kickbacks on a monthly basis, only because of because she is related to a important person in the state. I don't understand why the vigilance court asks for evidence. Because all the evidence have been is there in the domain of the legal system. It is there in the domain of the, 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 the tribunal who has given this verdict. In fact, such a judgment is a surprising and disappointing thing for anybody who wants probity, who wants transparency in public life. See, the, that, is the, that is the thing. But the bank, the, the enforcement directorate has, as I understand from their statement, from their press release, they have come across connection between the loans sanctioned under Binami names applications from a person who has been closely connected with the party, the bank, and the cooperative sector. So the director board, everyone knows that in Kerala, anything related to the CPM, it is the party which controls. So naturally, when there is evidence for that, and the enforcement directorate has through their searches, unearthed such information. What should have been done for a law-abiding citizen? What should have been done by a democratic party is that they should allow the law to take its own course. So they are saying they are attributing motives to the enforcement agencies, to the investigating agencies. This means they are party into the crime and they fear that these things will come up.